You're not giving much credit to the discernment of the consumer, African American or otherwise. Discernment implies a choice. You don't see no Whole Foods in this neighborhood, do you? Oh, it's coming. You got a Starbucks right across the street. Brother, they got Starbucks and wheat fields now. Superior Donuts is the first play I've written set in Chicago, in my adopted city, where I've lived for 23 years now. All my other plays are set uh, in the Plains states. And this is the first time I've written about my adopted city. Regardless of your skin color, uh, yet in acknowledgement of your estimable heritage, <laughs> I'd like to read your book. The tone is different, the, the kind of story, uh, the length of the play. It's August Osage County was sort of this three and a half hour epic. Uh, Superior Donuts is a two hour comedy. Name 10 black folks. Uh. 10? Yeah. That's not a racist test, that's a poet test. <laughs> You know, I've heard that suggested, which would also suggest that writing a comedy is in some ways easier. <laughs> Anybody who believes that has never tried to write a comedy. It's actually very hard in its own way. Gwendolyn Brooks. Sure, Chicago Blood, three. County Cullen. Oh, now that's a good one. I'm impressed. You just answered the four black folks who might be in your crossword puzzle. <laughs> I tried, uh, consciously, I tried to write something that, uh, that wasn't as personal, that didn't sort of take as big a chunk of me as August or some of my other work, and yet I found out that's not possible, at least it's not possible for me. It wound up being just as personal in its own way uh, as those other plays. The names will come to me. You don't want to bump up the bed, do you? Buy a couple million dollars. If I pass your test, you let me read your book. If you can't, you let me try out my coffee house idea. Deal. Where were we? Just four. Alex Walker, Indazaki Shandi, Abiri Baraka, Lucille Clifton, Nikki Giovanni, and Yusef Komenyaka. Yeah. <laughs>